The key editor is a powerful feature that is great for enhancing animation, lip sync, or other expressions. So let's get started. I already have a Crazy Talk script open. The first thing I would like to point out is beneath the voice track is the lip track. This is where we can find all the lip sync keys. The lip sync keys are automatically generated depending on the audio file that was loaded. If we wish, we can delete keys or double click on the location where we would like to add a lip sync key, and we can choose any lip sync key from the library. Now let's see how we can enhance our expressions. My character is giving a speech, but at certain points I want to emphasize words with a larger mouth movement, so we can use the key editor to help make the expressions. To use the key editor, just select the part of the face that you wish to edit. Move your mouse around inside the key editor panel and the face will move in real time. Then you can press set key to save that facial expression to the timeline. When creating facial expressions, we can choose to have auto key on or off. Auto key means any adjustments we make will automatically be saved as a key on the timeline. Or we can deselect the auto key and manually set keys. Again, if we are editing a key, but wish to revert back to the last saved facial expression for that key, we can press the resume button. Default key will add a key that sets all expressions back to the normal expression for our character, which is ideal if we want to get back to the normal face. The key editor can also be used for creating transform. More about this will be discussed in the timeline tutorial. And that is how the key editor can be used to enhance or create expressions for your characters.